Hey guys, Brian Grossman here with Georgia Field. Man, oh. yeah, that ain't good. Out here today doing a little scouting uh, on one of my one of my favorite WMAs, um, and I just wanted to uh, getting in here and looking at this spot, man. Made me want to do a quick little video here about betting areas, and of course one of the key th or one of the things I key in on when I'm out here scouting pretty much any time on a WMA is man, I'm looking for thick cover because that's that's where the deer are going to be um, particularly the mature deer mature bucks they're going to hang pretty tight to that thick cover so I'm always checking out those types of spots and of course I do a lot of uh, cyber scouting or scouting online before I come out to any WMA and you know it's obvious you can pick out those thick spots like um, clear cuts you know you can see those clear cuts old clear cuts uh, on your uh, aerial photos you can see young pine stands, um, old fields, that type of stuff. And so you know those are probably gonna be pretty good. Uh, you can mark those and then get in there and actually, when you put boots on the ground, check them out. But don't overlook these spots like I'm at right here that don't show up necessarily real great on, a, on an aerial photo. Um, this is uh, basically just thin pines. And, you know, it's, a, it's mature pines and they're thin enough that you have a great understory in here. And deer use these like crazy. And I know it's probably not the same on every WMA, um, but a lot of them around here uh, that I hunt have these types of areas if you'll get out there and look for them. And the deer will bed, it, oh, the way it works here is uh, a lot of these primary ridges are where your WMA roads are or your access trails. And then you'll have fingers running off of those ridges, which is what I'm on here. And if you'll get out near the ends of these fingers, if you got good cover like I do here, you're gonna find beds, uh, you're gonna find droppings, trails, you're gonna find a lot of deer sign in here. Um, the trick though to these, and, and I'm still learning on all this as far as how to hunt these, is figuring out how to get in and out of here undetected. And that's something I gotta work on big time this season because the way these are positioned, these deer can almost see, depending on where you're at, but they can see, hear, and or smell you coming in on the main access trails. Um, I'm not that far off of the main access trail here, um, but these types of places don't get hunted a whole lot. Maybe, maybe during a gun hunt, somebody might wander in here and get up into one of these pines, but otherwise they're not getting hunted a whole lot. The deer are comfortable in here, but they can detect you coming in. So you got to figure out the best way to slip into these spots undetected. And that's kind of what I'm at looking here today is figuring out how I can get into this place. If, if a deer's bedding right in here, how am I gonna get in and hunt the outskirts of this without, without getting detected? And there are ways to do it. Um, I can probably end up coming in from the creek bottom here below me. Uh, it's pretty open down in there, open hardwoods. Deer probably aren't gonna be in there in the mid afternoon when I slip in, or you know, if you were to come in early. Actually, if I was coming in early in the morning, I'd probably come in from the access road. But in the evening, I'd probably, afternoon, I'd slip down this creek bottom in these open hardwoods and slip up the finger here and try to get up in a tree before I got into, you know, the main bedding where they're, where they're actually going to be. Uh, you still, you know, it's an aggressive move. You still might bump some deer out of here, but that's, uh, that's one of the techniques I'm going to be trying this fall. And hopefully we'll have some video and uh, discussion on the podcast on how all that goes. So, but don't overlook these spots. Next time you're out checking out one of your local WMAs, um, don't just hit the, you know, hit those clear cuts and, and that type, those types of areas, certainly scout them out, but don't overlook these areas of like thin pines or thin pine hardwood mixes um, like you have here when you got good understory. Anytime you got good understory, uh, get in there and, and check it out. Um, sometimes it's a little rough navigating through there, but that's, uh, that's exactly why the deer are in there. So just another tip for more great deer hunting information, Georgia deer hunting information, be sure to check out Georgia Field, check out our YouTube channel, podcast, all that good stuff. We're always trying to provide good public land hunting information. But until next time, guys, we'll, uh, we'll be out here scouting them in the field. So take care.